He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Today we're going to do some titration calculations. Consider the following acid-base reaction. We have hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide yielding sodium chloride and water. If 50 milliliters of an HCl solution with unknown concentration are titrated with 0.250 molar sodium hydroxide, and then if it takes 35.23 milliliters of base to reach the equivalence point, what was the concentration of the HCl solution? So if you're not sure how to approach this, go ahead and check out my tutorial on titration, and when you're ready, give it a try. So let's put our reaction up top. And then what we need to remember about the equivalence point is that it is the point where the moles of acid equals moles of base. So it is the point where precisely all of the acid has been neutralized by the base. So it is telling us something about stoichiometry when the equivalence point is reached. So since we want to find out the moles of acid, let's find the moles of base. So let's take our volume of base. We have 35.24 milliliters of base that were required to reach the equivalence point, And let's first convert that into liters. So dividing by 1,000 milliliters, we have 0.03524 liters of base to reach the equivalence point. Now, since we have the concentration of that base, we can convert liters into moles. So let's take our liters of base and multiply by 0 0.250 moles per liter. And that means that was 0 0.00881 moles of base that were required to reach the equivalence point. Now, we have to look at the stoichiometric ratio. The acid and the base are in a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means if that many moles of base were required to reach the equivalence point, then we multiply by one mole of acid over one mole of base, and we get that same number of moles back for the acid. So when the equivalence point was reached, that many moles of base had precisely neutralized that many moles of acid. And that is the number of moles of acid that were in the solution initially for the HCl solution. So now all we have to do is convert that many moles of acid into a concentration. And so concentration is moles per liter. So we take our moles of acid and we divide by 0 0.0500 liters because we know we had 50.0 milliliters of acid. We knew the volume. We just didn't know the concentration. So that many moles over that many liters gives us 0 0.176 moles per liter or 0.176 molar HCl which was the concentration of our unknown HCl solution. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.